So as a Georgia Tech student, there are other pieces of software, other tools, other things you have access to uh, that you could get through your entire degree and actually never know you have. Uh, so I want to run through some of those uh, real quick, just so you're aware that these are available to you. Uh, the first is kind of obvious, but I've mentioned it in other places and I think it's worth seeing. Uh, it's the current course listing uh, for OMSCS. You go to omscs.gatech.edu slash current courses. Uh, you see a list of all the current courses that we have. And what's valuable about this is if you go into a particular course, you'll find a good bit of information about that course. You'll find who teaches it, an overview of it, what specializations it count towards, as well as syllabi and the course videos themselves. So if you want to get a feel for what a course requires, you can actually come here and watch all the content associated with that course before you ever uh, enroll. Or if you want to share a course with a coworker or a friend or whatever, you can send them here and they don't have to enroll in the program to be able to watch all the course videos. Uh, so this we recommend that you use uh, to understand if you're ready for a particular course. You can see what its requirements will be. You can see what content it will cover, things like that, and then make an informed decision about what course uh, to take. Now, once you start taking courses, there's a tool called DegreeWorks, which helps you track your progress to graduation to know if you fulfilled your requirements uh, or how far you are. Uh, if you go to, I believe, degreeworks.gatech.edu uh, will work or degreeaudit.gatech.edu slash dashboard uh, will work. And you'll see uh, an overview of yours. Yours will look different uh, than mine because this is mine uh, from when I was a, a PhD student uh, here at Georgia Tech. Um, but you'll uh, get information about how close you actually are and you can poke around and find out uh, what you need to take and what counts for, uh, for what. Um, the Office of Disability Services is there if you need an accommodation for anything uh, that would relate to additional time on tests or extension on the assignments or anything like that. This is where you would come to, uh, to meet with them, to share your needs, and to get an accommodation uh, from them to ensure that you have the, uh, the, the setup necessary for you to succeed uh, in our program. Uh, it is interesting, a lot of the things that we see uh, people with uh, these kind of disabilities need are things like note-taking or access to lecture material in advance, which interestingly are very often taken care of passively uh, by the design of our program. So I've been excited to see that different things we did for various reasons are helping uh, people from different backgrounds, people with different needs uh, succeed. Um, but if you do need something extra beyond what a class uh, offers naturally, uh, visit the Office of Disability Services here, let them know what you need, and they will uh, communicate that to your, uh, to your professors. Um, the current student page uh, gives you a nice little welcome from Dean Charles Isbell. I highly recommend uh, reading it because he's phenomenal. Uh, down here also, you'll find the contact information for OMS Advising. Uh, that goes to our advisors and it's automatically sorted to the advisor who needs to take care of your request. If you need anything from advisors, uh, that's where you would, uh, you would email. That's for things like questions about registration status, uh, forms you need to fill out for various things, uh, or if you need... Um, anything to help you succeed and move through the program, that's where you would go. Uh, the Georgia Tech Library is available to you. It's at library.gotech.edu. Most things in the library are now virtual. Uh, so this gives you access to a massive number of academic articles and resources uh, that have been procured by the Georgia Tech Library. Um, so I, I recommend just coming here and poking around and seeing what you have access to because every time I visit, I'm surprised to find something else uh, that we that we get uh, access to as faculty and staff and students uh, of Georgia Tech. A buzz card is your Georgia Tech ID, pretty much. Um, it is mostly useful, I think, for getting student discounts places. Uh, so if you want to be able to say that you're a student and show your student ID, uh, this is where you would come uh, for that. Uh, you're also welcome to use it on, uh, on proctor tests and things like that. I know some people don't really want to, uh, to show their driver's license uh, to the webcam. Uh, so you can get a buzz card and use that as your photo ID uh, for your completion of the program. Um, it's now available online, so you can come here, apply for it, upload your own photo, uh, and you'll, you'll get it in the mail uh, from there. So I recommend getting it because you're a Georgia Tech student, you should be able to pull something out of your wallet and prove it. The Georgia Tech OMSCS subreddit is a completely student-run community, so there's no official support uh, for it, even though I will often chime in there uh, with, with my thoughts. Um, but it's a great place to ask questions, to get uh, input from other students, to make sure that your experience is matching what other people see. And if you're confused about anything, 
it's a great uh, place to ask just to get a student view uh, of what's going on. Similarly, there's also a, uh, a Facebook group you're welcome to join uh, if you're active on Facebook. Uh, another place to ask questions and get uh, responses from your classmates. Students have also built this really great tool called omscentral.com. It's been fascinating actually to watch. It started as a Google spreadsheet and now it's gone through a couple different software iterations. Uh, and it's a place to find out what your classmates say about different classes uh, and submit your own, uh, own reviews as a student. Um, it's a great resource. Uh, it's completely unofficial. It's student run. We have no uh, direct influence over it. So you know that the, the views you're getting there are, are candid. Um, but it's a great place to find out what kind of difficulty different classes re uh, require, what kind of workload um, they require, what kind of difficulty they, uh, they operate under, uh, as well as to find out what kind of background you might need to succeed uh, in different courses. So you can click into individual courses, see the actual reviews from different students, and find out you know, how prepared you are uh, for a particular, uh, particular class. Uh, as a Georgia Tech student, you also have access to LinkedIn Learning. Uh, LinkedIn Learning is a resource uh, from LinkedIn. Um, it, it used to be lynda.com if you're taking courses on Lynda. Um, but if you go to linkedin.com slash learning, I believe it'll ask you to sign in with single sign-on. If not, you go to lo log in or link it with your single sign-on. And you have access to a lot of free courses uh, that you can take just as part of being a Georgia Tech student. Actually, that one is taught by a former Georgia Tech student. That's cool. Oh, huh. well, today I learned something. Um, so LinkedIn Learning is there. Great resource just to, to learn other stuff. Um, campus VPN uh, lets you access certain resources that are only available through the campus VPN. So if you have to have access to um, to campus resources uh, that are behind uh, a login wall, come to uh, faq.oet. You can just look at that URL or just Google George Tech VPN, as you can tell in the Google search bar. That's where I found this. Um, install your VPN or there's a browser version, and it will let you access certain things that you can only access um, when you're on VPN. And speaking of things you can only access when you're on VPN, um, software.oit.gotech.edu is a place where you can get access to uh, software that you get to install because you are a Georgia Tech student. Uh, you'll see something different uh, than what I have here. Actually, you might see the same kind of thing, um, but you'll see different um, pieces of software that you get to install uh, as part of being a Georgia Tech uh, student. They all have their own licensing requirements. Some would require you to, hey, there we go, install on a GT computer only. So only if you have a computer through Georgia Tech uh, can you use that. Um, but everything else you're welcome to use for academic purposes only. So browse through that. Make sure you read the licensing agreement that you're agreeing to, um, but you have some access to some resources there. So those are just some of the things that you have access to that you'll probably want to use. There are certainly others. Uh, we use Office 365, so if you go to office365.gottech.edu, you'll access that entire suite of tools. And then as you go through different courses, they'll require uh, different things as well. So make sure to look at what your individual course uh, requires. But these are some of the things that you might never know exist if you didn't watch this video. But now you've watched this video, so now you know these things exist and you should take advantage of them.